so welcome guys to another video here in the mountains snowed a bit lovely weather today as you see and um, yeah today's video is about three key points uh, which I've learned in the, la in the past two years which are very important if you want to get successful and be successful and uh, I'll take you with me in today's video. So, key number one is consistency. I think <laughs> everyone heard about it, like consistency, cons consistency is the key and uh, I can't say any more than that because I've learned that the hard way, um, like in the gym, you can't just get a success overnight and uh, you need to work hard for your success. I've al al also saw that in my studies, which I started in September. I mean, it's nice if you can put it off until December, end of December, and, um, and then start to learn for your exams like two weeks before, but the success at the end won't be as big as if you have started half an hour per day. Like, just be consistent, do half an hour per day which adds up way more time than you imagine than doing it like two weeks before 18 hours of learning it doesn't work like that so that's key point number one you've probably heard that everywhere also in books uh, one of my like the best book I have read is definitely Atomic Habits which uh, shows key points key changes you can make just starting off small I did that for example with um, going to the gym four times per week because I was going before just two times three times 45 minutes not too long so I started to build my way up to one hour and then even to one hour and 30 minutes so you need to take the small steps to achieve um, something bigger So key point number two is um, it is discipline and not motivation. I like <laughs> the first part is definitely motivation because um, like I said even to start off something takes a bit of motivation but the thing which gives you the most success if you can stay consistent like as I said for the first point but that also comes along with discipline so you need to set yourself the time plot where you focus on yourself no uh, disturbance things like phones and stuff like that no social media no scrolling just flight mode and concentrate on the things you want to get done and I'll do that in the mornings because that's the like you're the most freshest there and uh, can take the most key points or learn the most things and process that information during that time. So what I do is I've started a morning routine which I'll also make a separate video about. But yeah, I wake up consistently and. Uh, Every single morning, 5.30 during the week, on the weekends, I'll treat myself like, you need to treat yourself as well. It's not just discipline. You need to find the perfect balance of resistance for change, but also, on the other hand, um, the resistance against change. Like, you need to balance both fields out to 
get the most out of what you want to get done in the morning and I'll do that uh, I'll spend 45 minutes to one hour reading every morning so yeah also in the evenings I'll hit the gym even if I'm tired after work but as, l as soon as you get into that routine it's way easier which can, all, can only be successful if you have the discipline to go to the gym or work the extra hours after work on yourself and work on yourself to get successful at the end of the day. And key point number three is getting even started with it. I struggle with that quite a lot. I I can tell that like I felt uh, I'm doing well, I'm good, everything is fine. I'm, I have my um, imagination where I'm like, oh yeah, I can be that. That's my future. That's where I'm going to be. That's how it would look like. That's my dream body. All these things you can put into your head but actually put it into work is another thing. Because <laughs> I, I was struggling with that so many times where I put so many ideas, ideas into my head but can never put it even into action. So you need to think forward but also take the step, the first step, which is the most difficult one Take the first step and uh, work on that to achieve what you want. <laughs> Even with this channel, it took me probably half a year to get started. I was like, mm, what will people think about me? Well, just third people's opinion mattered to me so much that I struggled to start this channel. And now, after I've started it, I don't regret it anymore because I finally pressed that uh, publish button and everyone has a spotlight on themselves so they don't really care about you that much like because everyone has its own spotlights on itself they don't care if you have a YouTube channel or not they talk about it for a few moments but that's it then it's getting normal I guess so take that first step because if you don't take that first step, it's always in your head, but you never get the work into it to get successful. So that was to for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it uh, in this beautiful mountains here full of snow. Lovely weather in Switzerland. That's one n nice thing about here. So yeah, I'll thank you for watching and I'll talk to you in the next video.